Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. I just want to tell you happy holidays and excuse the dirty kitchen. Yes. It's not clean, but I'm going to remake the pies that Queen Bean came and made because her sweet potato pies, y'all, no cap. Y'all gonna laugh when I say that. The kids looked over at me. <laughs> like, I'm not allowed to say no cap. But anyway, no cap. No, for real. Her pies are so good, y'all. Now, if y'all try the recipe or whatever, y'all see for yourself that this pie is good. So I'm so happy because it was so simple to make. So I am going to remake it. Like I said, this is the first day of my day of the Vlogmas. Uh, yesterday I missed because, you know, I was just kind of laying around and I was, um, you know, I was just doing nothing all day yesterday. And of course, that's the results of it. Came downstairs and I made some uh, whiting some fish or whatever whiting fish and uh, I made some uh, like bro roasted like uh, small the small red and yellow potatoes and baked them and that's kind of what we had yesterday for dinner and after that you know it was just like one of those lounge days but I said I'm going to get up and I'm going to do something for vlogmas and this is one of the things I'm going to do today is recreate the pie so I have in front of me um, the two uh, pie shells um, I have the sweet potatoes in a bowl and I got everything out that Queen used um, However Queen did not use brown sugar y'all so I just called her and She said no mama no brown sugar So that's exactly what I'm going to do use no brown sugar I want to make this recipe just like she made it. I already preheated the oven. Okay, so you all I am um, just a little referring to the video so on this video she's putting all this i forgot to grab the salt yeah the salt and the butter so i gotta melt the butter but um according to the video i'm gonna blend up the sweet potatoes and like she said blend them real well like she said, no potato left behind. I want this to be the exact recipe. Her sweet potato pie was so good, y'all. So good. Let me move y'all to the center. I don't like side profiles of me. Setting that to the side. And I'm gonna add my First cup of sugar. My second cup of sugar. And the half a cup of sugar. I don't wanna do this too fast because I don't wanna miss any steps. Also, um, this is the nutmeg. She said a teaspoon of nutmeg. And that's what she was talking about when I didn't have any measurers, you know. Um, I'm going to have to get me some for the holidays. Anyway, that's nutmeg. And this is the cinnamon. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Tina is melting the butter for me. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, she says she added this last, but I think it's all in there together. So um, I don't know. Uh, okay, y'all. So actually, I got one stick of butter. Melt the other one, Tina. I'm gonna use what I got because I don't have what I thought I had in here. These are sticks. This is what she used. These are not really a stick. It's not. So, dang. I hope this turns out right. And a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle. She said, "Well, sprinkle half of." Half. Okay, so. It hit, went off when I was putting a pinch of salt in. Um, and I also added the the milk, um, one fourth of milk. Um, I think I made a mistake though, cause I added the tablespoon of flour and I remember her adding that last. I hope it don't matter. I hope to God it don't matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all up. Cutting the 
bag at a time, four eggs. Like I said, um, only things I did different was I thought that I had two sticks of butter. I only really basically had one stick of butter. I did not use the brown sugar because she told me not to use the brown sugar. Um, and I remember her not using it. It turned out awesome. I put the flour in before and not last. So I, didn't, I hope this didn't make a difference. But this is more than two pies, you all. Um, I'm right to where I was at. I should be calling his phone telling him to stop and get some pies. Looks like it. I got one more. Uh, like I said, I only had two pie shells for now. I'm gonna have to go out and get my center rail back out. Cause this is basically three pies. Really? Okay. So we got two full pie shells. And these are going in the oven for an hour. It is 504. These pies will come out at 604. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth if they didn't turn out right. So, yeah. But I think it's gonna be good. And when they do, I'm gonna be so happy, y'all, because I used to have everybody making my sweet potato pies for me because I didn't know how to do it, you know? So, um, I would have my mom would make me a sweet potato pie. Um, the sister from my church, she would make my sweet potato pies all the time for me. I gotta give her a shout out. Ramon Marchbanks, she would make my sweet potato pies and yeah, the mugs was, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't cap y'all. Her, her sweet potato pies was good, you know. And um, so when I tasted Queens, I was happy because, you know, her pies is good. You know, that pie was good, y'all. I'm not just saying that because that's my daughter. Them pies is out cold. So I'm just, I'm gonna be so happy when this turns out right because it's so simple. Y'all used to think it was so hard to make sweet potato pie, you know? Like I said, I tried it last year and um, it didn't turn out right. You know, it was too much of something, something was missing. I'm like, oh, forget it, whatever. So whoever was, you know, tasted the pie, they was honest with me, you know, how, how it tasted. They was like, eh, it's all right, you know, but I don't want no all right. I want to be like, this is good, you know, yeah. So anyway, this is what I'm gonna be doing different things during Vlogmas, like Christmas shopping, taking you guys on, uh, Christmas uh, shopping uh, with me. Um, I got some surprise coming for it, Tina and Terrell. Um, it's not gonna be under a tree, you know. God has been blessing me, you all, and I just wanna tell you all, I thank you very much um, for the new subscribers and those who support this channel. Um, God has been blessing my channel. Um, and also, you know, he has been blessing me to stay busy on my channel because you know, my channel, it, it makes my money for me. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm thankful for what I have, what I do receive. And it's, it's a nice amount for me 
a month being that my situation is already basically easy. You know what I'm saying? Because of my daughter. But I'm thankful and I feel a lot better to be putting in my own content and my own work. And I see it growing, you know? And so I'm happy about that. And so I'm able to, like I said, do things on my own, you know, without, you know, my daughter doing everything, which she does, she doesn't do everything. It's like I, you know, take care of my bills and she takes care of the housing part whatever but basically i have been blessed to be able to have leisure and do whatever i need to do and still have a nice amount to go get what i want as well so that's a blessing you all and i'm happy for that so like i said i had some surprise surprise for tina and terrell and also um you know others in the family and stuff like that um but yeah so i just want to be doing different vlogmas vlogmas as they call it um this week and uh well this month or whatever and hopefully like i said i can stay tuned you know um stay up on um my content or whatever because like i said i do get busy also y'all how y'all like this I, I took a picture i put it on instagram and um this is a, a headband wig you all um i love it it's easy um this hair is silky um it doesn't shed they said it was brazilian curl um it's a 16 inch the hair company is by licoville uh, licoville being spelled l-i-c-o-ville v-i-l-l-e licoville hair and i ordered it off of amazon you all because um i saw one youtube tutorial where the girl told me the exact thing she ordered it off of amazon and it wasn't that bad of a price um it was $89 and by the time I got shipping and all that was $127 but and it came within like a week and um it's just what I you know just what the picture looked like at first I'm like 16 inch this don't look like no 16 but you know it's different probably because it's curly and all but I tried it on it came with two uh wig caps it came with uh three different color headbands which is this one and the one that i had on my instagram y'all follow my instagram mama love 313 you will see it the other one where i had you know was feeling like whitney houston in the back in the 80s because that's how i felt when i put it on but yeah and it's just manageable it's easy you all and uh, it's cute you know something quick and cute you know gotta keep it quick and cute gotta change up on them hairstyles you know you get tired of the same do you know what i'm saying whether it's a wig or your own hair you get tired of it and um i like my hair really basically i love my wigs don't get me wrong i love my hair but i love my wigs because especially during the winter time i call it my hair hat i very seldomly get head coats with wigs because i'm covered you know and so times like this it's it's good you know so i wear a lot of wigs um in the winter and also sometime in the summer i wear um and then I, I just wear hair period um whenever i get ready to wear my hair i just wear like a natural braid pattern or whatever because my hair is like the bob wig that i wear it's a long bob wig that i always wear my hair is that length of that wig and um but when i want to wear it straight like that it uh has a tendency to swell because i you know a lot of humidity is in my scalp and so my hair does not stay straight when i want to wear a straight style so that's my reason for that. But you, this could be worn uh, basically in the summertime as well because it's not really heavy. And you know, you still got your, you know, edges. I ain't do good on my edges. I got all these edges, y'all. Let me sweat. And y'all, I'm gonna wash my hands before I touch that pie. But um, yeah, uh, my edges, I got a lot of edges. I'm thick around the edges. I ain't gonna say baby hair's edges. My edges come way out here, but um, for me to have some edges, well, I, I gotta work with them better than what I'm working with them. I need one of them good edge combs or brushes or whatever. But yeah, so but I'm happy with it, you all. I had a good time when my babies were here. Um, I was so overjoyed, and um, I was happy, you know, to have them all together. Y'all, it's a joy having your children together. That's every mother's dream you know what i'm saying that love her children anyways it's only 5 16 and um, hopefully these pies turned out right and um stay tuned hey so 
just like last time guess what I forgot to add I forgot to add syrup she put syrup in it because I put I put Miss Butterworth syrup in my yams y'all um, instead of corn syrup I'll use um, Miss Butterworth syrup I've always used it and um, <clears throat> I guess Queen puts it in her sweet potato pie but I did put it in the last pie or whatever um, however before I did put it in the last uh, the last pie I, I tasted the batter before I put the um, syrup in it and it tasted good the batter and I tasted it with my finger it tasted good so another thing I did wrong was excuse the kitchen y'all I was supposed to these are the pies I was supposed to put the oven on 365 for an hour I didn't I put it on 400 but however the last pie has got the correct stuff in it and it's got it's on a correct temp so there's the last pie and it's coming along well I'm bringing a one to my mom I'm going to my mom's house tonight um, go kick it with her but um yeah y'all I'm just waiting on these pies to cool down want to come out the oven and want to cool down because I'm leaving two of them here and then like I said take one to her Try to redo my edges, y'all. I just can't. I want to cut them. I want to pull my edges down and just cut along them. Because they're too long. I don't know. I'm trying to make it. That's what happens when you wear a lot of lace front wigs. You start to make your own edges look like that baby hair they be putting on a wig. <sighs> y'all, I'm anxious. I just was a. Uh... Can't wait to taste these pies. I hope they're good, y'all. I just know it's going to be good. I'm gonna be so happy, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is this is something because, um, like I said, I couldn't make no pie to save my life. <laughs> I ain't even say nothing to nobody, but I'm happy. Anyways, it was so funny, y'all. Um, Chewy, when when Queen and them was leaving, Chewy had um, we couldn't find Chewy's shoe. We looked high and low for his shoe, his little Air Force One. Mom was like, I mean, Queen was like, Mom, dang, when you find it, could you please? Air overnighted or something. I was like, okay. So, <laughs> in my old purse, over here in the game area, that's where I got everything at. Ended up at the games, the toys, and all of that. Ended up on that table. <laughs> my old purse was over there on that table, I guess, when we had cleaned the car out. And um, what's funny is, um, Chewy's shoe was in my old purse. And, <laughs> and I... I text the picture to Queen Man. She was cracking up. It's the same picture I had put on Instagram. I told y'all the story. And she laughed so hard because we looked up and down for that shoe. And he just always it's, it's funny how you find little stuff that he you know he been there. Like last time was the little rice crispy, mini rice crispy uh treats, whatever. They was inside Queen's shoe. He had put them all in there. <laughs> it's funny. The little stuff that he does and stuff. So Yeah. So I'm sitting here with my Son, and I'm gonna give him the honors of tasting. First of all, let me see how it looks. Look, 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 look. Sorry, I got a camera all in his face. Wait. That's good. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't gonna lie, I had a slice of that pie. But it seemed like when I ate that pie, I don't know, I got sleepy. I don't know I ain't got no sugar problems, because, you know, but you know how it just goes through your system? But like, it's really true. You are what you eat, you know? I just, ugh, I just feel, I don't know, late, earlier today, I had some some McDonald's and I shouldn't have had it. Whatever you put in your body and stuff, it's so true. Because I can tell the difference from when I'm eating right and when I'm not. But the pie, the pie was bomb. <laughs> it's gone. I'm sleep. So yeah, y'all. So ended up being right. I'm taking a pie to my mom. I, I like I said um the pie that I cut just does not have the the syrup in it but it tastes just like you know Queen's pie so mm, maybe they need all that 
You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I got more videos to come. Comment down below what you want me to do for Vlogmas. The month of Vlogmas. I don't want no boring videos and stuff. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all can, um, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, if you can for me. Appreciate all my new supporters. Welcome to my channel. And I got more great content coming your way. And um, I just want to let you all know I truly do appreciate you all. Always say it. So I'm going to get ready and get up out of here. And peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.